Crazy updates. Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. I'm driving this. This is the Devu Cielo, and this car comes courtesy of Mithilesh to me. Straight away, we are going to be opening the engine bay, which is not that difficult because you press a lever here, and this is very heavy. There's no insulation there. That is the engine, but look at the way the air is drawn in here. I mean, that's shut. So how does it actually breathe? Because there is where the filter is. Air filter is. Okay, you can see the engine. Sort of has some amount of rust here and there, but this is actually a General Motors sourced platform as well as engine. The design of this car looks like a Mustang of the older kind, and I kind of like it. I really like this mafia look that this car has, and this car is also very long. Just look at the length, super duper crazy long. My goodness, in 1997, such a long car would like kind of compete with say the Mercedes E-Class in terms of space, but this does not even have the space of a Mercedes. Zero class because there is no space at the rear. Anyways, this uh, silver line na strip was very popular in those days. You could just put it after market. I remember having put that on my esteem as well. And the tire size happens to be one eighty five seventy thirteen. Alloy wheels are after market. These are aura alloy wheels at the front. But you know what? When you reduce the weight of these wheels, they become Momo wheels, and that's what exactly what's happened at the rear. Or probably you can put whatever name or branding you want. So that's also very customized on this vehicle. Kind of nice. I really like the design of this car. But you know what is this exactly? This is one of the older General Motors cars sourced by Daewoo. And you know what? Why does it say DCM Daewoo? Because DCM happened to be their Indian partner, which is Delhi Cotton Mills and Textile, something of that sort. So there was this partnership here. Again, looks really nice at the rear. And I think the logo is kind of half half finished. This is where the exhaust is, which is there. मतलब यहाँ पे होना चाहिए ना वो ऐसे कैसा स्लॉट दिया हुआ है डिजाइन की तो बैंड बजा चुके हैं ये लोग एनी वेज लेट्स ओपन द बूट ऑफ द वहीकल एंड देर इट ओपन सो दिस वन इज पावर्ड बाई एल पी जी देर इज अलमेट देर एंड ऑब्वियसली डेटा फॉर द एल पी जी एज वेल देर इज अ हाई माउंटेड स्टॉप लैम्प पार्सल शेल्फ एज समथिंग गोइंग ऑन देर नाउ लाइक आर स्टैंडिंग यू देर इज नॉट मच स्पेस इन स्पाइट ऑफ द फैक्ट दैट द व्हील बेस इज सुपर डुपर लॉन्ग नो देर इज नो स्पेस एज सच and there's no adjustable headrest at all there's no center headrest either there's a slight hump there and the car is kind of looking that dirty that i might not even risk getting inside and i will not there are no door pockets here and where are the power window controls there are none but there is an ashtray which is stuck so it's not opening at the moment door is open wide enough and you know what they also shut with quite a lot of ease thoda aur push marna hota to band ho jata this antenna actually rolls out all the way because it's such an old car it's like super duper old car this one lacks quite a lot of features so the audio system has been swapped for a new one it says gle here okay the glx was the top trim and someone has gone and scratched it all over the place which is kind of disappointing it only gets one wiper and you were blaming toyota for giving one wiper on the etios but well, that's kind of mean of you let's do one thing let's first get in from here okay now why am i doing that is oh my god there is a dog fight happening there one dog does not like the other dog come on guys chill let me finish my vlog then we'll discuss door box is a huge at the front the glove box shuts but then it decides to open itself and there i can see a yellow speaker down there there's some storage space here see it's a fabric but because of the age of the car obviously the seats are making quite a lot of sound as well if you guys keep quiet i will take you for a ride in this car that's the reason they are becoming even more angry because they don't want to go for a ride in this car okay now the boot actually opens from here okay there's a button here to open the boot and you have to press it five times now it finally opened yeah <laughs> you have to open it so many times so that mechanism is also gone for a bit of a toss so now first things first I have a phone in my hand, and where do I keep it? There's no space to keep your phone. कहाँ रखूँ? यहाँ पे रख सकते हो, या यहाँ पे रख सकते हो handbrake के नीचे. So space in the center console, a bit of an issue. Power window controls here in the center. This was the first mass-produced car to get fuel injection as standard, but it's not very wide. So it's long but not wide. Tweeter here, manual adjust for the outside rear view mirror. And when I get inside, let me shut the door. Oh, okay, reasonable uh, this thing. Third and all, whatever. A lot of exposed wiring. 
sort of a dead pedal as well. I don't even know what this is. Okay, this is for the CNG kit. Just to open the fuel, just to open the boot of the vehicle. Steering is kind of big. Instrument cluster does look nice. You get a tachometer, speedometer, and I mean the usual basic instrument cluster, which everyone was doing like the same information. And tilted lights everywhere. It says ABS. Oh my God, it had ABS in those times. That's amazing. Yeah, बहुत मतलब shocking लगा मुझे इसमें ABS है. Or maybe it's just a telltale light and telltale light here also. And then you've got an odometer and that's it. There's a single trip meter which I've tripped. I shouldn't have. Okay, hazard light here. This is for the rear fog light or some front fog light. Who knows? Who cares? Similarly, you have got buttons here again. And I think these are for the lights. Okay, this is for the light and this is for the wipers. We'll not use the wipers because one wiper is on vacation today. Anyways, you can see the dashboard <laughs> looks quite nice, but the placement of the logo is kind of weird. The horn. on is okay fine this has been changed otherwise it came with a cassette player this is obviously for the air conditioning controls and there nothing opens okay this is an ashtray there is a cigarette lighter here as well there is a cd and there is a remote and there is some storage space there there is a coin holder i actually kind the of, i mean kind of find the design of the dashboard a little quirky and different let's do one thing let's turn on the car you know they just put a screw wherever they felt like they just like screwed stuff over So they kind of screwed themselves, and this is another button for God knows what. Okay, let's turn on the car. Hmm, it does turn on smoothly, so smoothly you can't hear it because it's stalled. Okay, is it on? Is it off? Let me rev. Okay, no, it is. Okay, it is on, but it's off. Okay, one second, I need to. Yeah. That is the fan belt sound for you. Chee 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 chee, and there's a proper, uh, you know, organizer right there. There's some jali wali along with a mirror there. There's light here on the top. For those times in the 90s, this car was an absolute revolution. I tell you why. Let's start driving. So time to go, which means pressing this clutch, which oh my god is so hard, and there it's turned on into first. अरे नहीं यार फैसल तुम्हें बोला है ना चालू करते रेव मारा करो तभी कुछ हो पाएगा इस गाड़ी का. Otherwise it will not move. All right, here we're going to start again and. Yeah, now it's the time to go before it stalls. Let's rev, 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 and off we go. Ah, fan bell sound coming onto the throttle. Doesn't really move. Oh my god, the brakes are non-existent in this car. <laughs> I have to become Fred Flintstone to drive it. So the CLO was actually launched, I think, around 1997. It runs a GM platform. It runs a GM engine. So General Motors dumps all the stuff they don't like in Korea or China, and that has been happening since a long time. And then Chinese became so smart that they started dumping their trash to General Motors. <clears throat> I don't want to name the cars. I'm not saying sell, use, or enjoy at all. But you get the drift. The horn, it's fine. I I hope it doesn't rain. We don't have a wiper. I have to put my own hand and do this, 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 this on the left side, like a nagin. Motor is fine. It's not that bad. It's a 1.5 liter unit which produces 80 horsepower. In 90s, 1.5 liter engine produced 80 horsepower. Today, a 1. Sorry, forget 1.2. A 1 liter engine only produces 120 horsepower. Turbo, not turbo. 1.2 liter engines are producing almost 90 horsepower. So. Ouch! Suspension is gone for a toss. Actually, suspension is on the softer side, but otherwise the ride is quite nice. Handling is very bad. You know, na Korean cars earlier on had no feel or feedback, so you can see absolutely none feel or feedback. So if you say Hyundai was were bad, well, Daewoo was even worse. In spite of running an American car platform, but then again. The habit of General Motors dumping their junk anywhere they feel like, and then they actually went ahead and bought this company when it went defunct and bankrupt, and then named it GM DAT, which is General Motors Devu Auto Technologies. The passenger side was picked up by General Motors when Devu went down, and the commercial side was picked up by Tata Motors for their trucks and buses and stuff like that. And I've said stuff like that twice, so I feel so stupid. Anyways. Engine is quite vocal, 80 horsepower and 127 newton meters of torque, and still it has a top speed of 100 and. 70 kilometers per hour. I was thinking for a minute, will it reach 170 kilometers per hour? It will, but I rather walk than take that risk because high speed stability is non-existent. The car wavers at like 
20 30 kilometers per hour and you can imagine what's going to happen at higher speeds of course and this is a manual gearbox which is decent in terms of shifts it's not very slick but you know the clutch is very soggy the brakes are gone so i'm not really able to pull the car to any speed at all but there was an automatic which many people have written on the internet was the first automatic in india blah 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 no it was not the first automatic was actually the maruti 800 which was sold mainly to differently abled people but you know what uh, the automatic was a three speed torque converter unit you can imagine how much of a hopeless thing that would have been but when this car did not really work initial sales went up and then they declined badly so then they decided let's replace the car uh, with a better engine and they put a 1.6 liter engine which had 10 more horsepower so that was 90 horsepower and they changed the name of the car to Nexia yeah. so from CLO it became Nexia so it's like nowadays what companies do when they launch a new generation of a car they add a suffix to it so Hyundai i10 Hyundai Grand i10 Hyundai Grand i10 Neos Hyundai Grand i10 Neos Pro Hyundai Grand i10 Neos Pro Max Hyundai Grand i10 Neos Pro Max Ultra like that is the naming but in the 90s Korean car makers were such legends they named a change only sorry they changed the name only completely <laughs> that's so different and weird as well oh my god I hate the steering wheel it's just like so big and so devoid of any feel or feedback you don't even know whether it's connected to the front wheels because the car is just going wavering all over the place now this engine gets the job done but it was a gas guzzler because the car is on the heavier side that length now nah, only adds to weight doesn't add to any space inside so because of the weight and all this is to drink like mad so what uh, Devu did now, they told its dealers, hey, calm karo, tum jake na, uh, go to smaller places and sell these cars and give them good discounts and all. You won't believe there was 25% off on this car at one point of time and sales dropped. So that was the best way of ruining the resale value of these cars. In fact, the owner has paid 40,000. He's paid a little bit more than he should have to buy this car two years back in the top end. It feels like the engine is going to blast cars in those days were so tall get it's like obnoxiously unnecessary tall get that in first gear it will do 50 kilometers per hour and it will do 100 kilometers per hour maybe in second or something uh, i'm not going to try that stunt today because i know if i reach 100 i might not reach zero back again because this car has no freaking brakes at all brakes are very soggy here and uh, because of uh, wide tires the car is relatively wide tires for 13 inch wheels you have good amount of grip on offer but it doesn't really overwhelm anything because there's no power as such you can hear a lot of rattles which isn't bad for a 25 years old car so 97 is when they launched it and then within a couple of years they went and brought in the next year i think and then 2001 was tata bye bye because they only fell through they actually launched this in collaboration with dcm group which is very funny because the dcm group is all over the place and so is devu so dcm group actually uh, had a sort of a understanding tie up or investment from toyota because i think toyota was planning to enter with them but uh, toyota forgot about it or i don't know whatever happened then they got out of that meanwhile while all this was happening they got uh, devu to india they collaborated with them and devu went and bought sangyong in korea when they themselves had financial issues they went and bought sangyong why would you do that and then they sold sangyong after two years so they bought it in 97 they sold it in 1999 somehow mahinda did not read the history and they went and bought sangyong again so like patriotism okay it's a korean company i shall buy it that was the funda back in the day but right now the only genuine korean car maker is the hyundai kia group of course because uh, devu actually this become general motors but they have a lot of cars which have been made in this whole collaboration so clo was replaced by the nexia which was replaced by the i think uh, opera and all of them like all the cars i'm going to be naming were made by gmdat which is general motors korean arm which is ex devu of course so that was replaced by the cruise i believe and there was a nubera and all that stuff and basically you know what devu used to do they used to make cars from almost everywhere so any car company which had discontinued a car they would go and buy the tooling whether it's from honda whether it's from toyota whether it's from general motors <laughs> that was the kind of funny shit this car company used to do go and buy whatever you can get your hands on kind of funny okay anyways ground clearance is fine and uh, you have to moderate the throttle a bit otherwise the car is kind of going all over the place so we are just going to do one thing we are going to take a u-turn the mirrors don't work here at all absolutely none oh my god <laughs> high speed alarm is like the mirror here and speed breaker doesn't stop this car just does not stop when you encounter a speed breaker red lines at six and a half thousand rpm it is above 50 kilometers per hour <laughs> that's kind of funny come on brakes stop stop i'm full on the brakes this is full brakes okay just manages to stall actually doesn't stop but stall huh turn this on 
Rev, 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 into first, and off we go. Wheel spin, baby, wheel spin. The grunt is so much that that Hero Honda motorcycle just screws past without giving any Fs about it. There was a CNG version as well. Okay, fan speed sound finally dies out. So, most cars have this high speed alarm, high speed sounds which come, you know, to tell you you're driving too fast. This has a low speed sound. At low speed, something or the other can be heard. So, it's always good to actually drive it at a higher speed so you don't hear anything. Only thing is you don't have brakes. So, you'll not be able to stop. It does have ABS though, but uh, the brakes only don't work, so forget ABS. <laughs> or ABS stands for anti-braking system, which means this car is against braking, so it doesn't have brakes at all. <laughs> because obviously, the brakes are so soggy, so bad. There's some weird sound coming. Is this car going to blow up or anything of that sort? <laughs> Anyways, guys, I have a story to share. First and foremost, I see a lot of CLOs because in my colony, uh, these uh, Devu guys, the dealership came and uh, they gave this car out at a very good discount to everyone in the colony. So a lot of people actually bought it and there's still a few of those examples. Now, people know I give massive beans so nobody would lend me there. So I had to come all the way here to Bangalore to drive one. Secondly, and the interesting part is, in school, there was this girl who I had a crush on or maybe I had a crush on her car, which was the CLO. And when she realized that, that I have a crush on her car, she found it so creepy, she actually went ahead and sold that car and then she got an XR. Oh, I don't know. She just upgraded. I don't know. There was like an offer from the dealership, but then she got an XR. And that car used to come every day to school and used to see it and had a crush on it. And like I've said it before, I'm saying it again, never meet your heroes. In those times, it was good, no doubt about it. But when you see it now, a similar vintage Toyota or Honda car, even the Corsa, which I drove like some time back, so much better in almost every way. This car, I mean, I'm not able to understand how is it so long without any space whatsoever? Why is the steering so vague? And why is the engine so lackluster? Only thing is, I think it looks really nice. I definitely will give this car that. It looks really nice. And for its times in the 90s, it was a good car. Price between 6 to 8 lakhs, depending on the variant on offer. But yeah, guys, don't take it personally if you owned one of these. It was a good car back then. But they would kind of messed up things. They're like, a, you know, just assembling stuff. They don't have anything of their own. And for the very first time, we get into third gear. Oh my God, it has got a dog leg reverse. Like you lift it and put it there. Wow, that's also unbelievable. Plenty of body roll on offer. But finally, I can, you know, take that thing out of my checklist of driving a Daewoo CL or something, which I have been thinking of doing since such a long time because like I told you, school days, you saw that dream, you always wanted that car, not the girl, but yeah, whatever. So guys, this is my vlog of the Devo Cielo. If you liked it, make sure to give it the thumbs up, that's a like button, and also subscribe to the channel, and random fact, it has a 50 litre fuel tank, not that it doesn't matter, because it's running on LPG power, right now we're on petrol, I think, or on LPG, I don't know. The performance is so bad, you don't even care. All you care about is that when will you see this car in a movie because when they're going to blow up a car it's going to be one of these and they have been doing this in such a long time most of the CLOs have ended up in movies being blown up somewhere or the other and now because budgets have increased obviously Scorpios are being blown up so on that bombshell is time to end bye bye